guys? I'm here with Mr. Drone on, and uh, we promised, I, well, I promised that we were going to do the Bugs 3 modification because we did it to mine up there. And uh, so we got Brian's over here. He's got, this is the Run Cam, the Owl. Is it the Owl or the Run Cam? No, this is just the HS1177. Okay. Run Cam clone. With a, right, it's a Sony. clone though, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. It's like the Sony sensor. So, so this is basically the uh, receiver board here, which as you can see has this funky white stuff covering it. Silicon, silicon I want to say. It's got to be like some silicon. kind of liquid silicon or yep. something. And uh, you have to remove that with a razor. I actually have some pick tools here with that kit that uh, I got from that guy. There's some tweezers. Everything I need is in here. Um, and then you've got six DBI, yes? Yeah. These are six DBI I'm SMA. Um, and, well, no, these are dipole, I want to say. Really? Omni's normally the clover leaf. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. weird that they're calling it that. Interesting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, you want to start with the transmitter or the bird? It's up to you. We already have the bird open. So. Okay, well, we can do the bird then. We'll do the bird first. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have to strip one of these wires, which has an apex connector on the end. And the hardest thing to do with this is that you have to do it with a knife carefully because underneath this black strip, is braided wire that goes all the way around the center wire okay. so you have to cut this very carefully uh, if you screw it up you got to chop that whole bit off and start all over again it's really weird so we're going to see if we can do this on camera to the best of our ability i'll see you guys in a sec so, all right so guys i'm going to cut the apex connector off the bottom here and uh just a pair of wire cutters man nothing extreme simple tools and the hard part is to get this to go all the way around in a nice circle, right? And then you have to pull this off and pull the braided wire back. So this may take a minute. I will actually probably end up speeding up this footage for you guys. But I'm going to do it the way I did it originally. There she is. Beautiful. All right. You see what I was talking about? Can you get on that or no? Yeah, it's not on it now. That's uh, braided wire. So actually, guys, if you pull on this, just pull back real lightly, and you'll notice that it starts to expose the inner wire. Like so. What we're going to do is make little splices in this so we can part enough of it that we can twist it. And then this part is being soldered to the board. Then we're going to pull this off and we're going to solder that other part to the board. So this is just takes a minute to get this down correct. <laughs> it's a little bit of work and it's tedious, but once you get to this point, you're basically good to go. All right, guys. So basically what I did is I pushed it down as far as I could get it down on that plastic. And then I just grabbed it and I twisted as much as I possibly could. The problem is you can't cut this braided stuff because if you do, because it's braided, it'll just all start falling apart. So the only thing you can do is pull it down as far as you can go and then just start twisting until you have a nice little piece that sticks out like this for soldering. And then go ahead and strip that other one. But give yourself a little room. You guys see how much room I left in there? Make sure to give yourself a little room. Because we're soldering this one first and then we're going to take the tweezers and we're going to bend that around to the other joint and then we're going to solder that on and glue it. So our next step here, if you want to come over here B, because we're going to have to take all this white silicone off. And the way you do that is carefully with a razor. you got to come in here and just start cutting very gently. Just start pulling off the silicone in little slices. Try not to hook the board too much. Get as much out of there as you can. And then you're going to get a wire brush, which I have right here. After you get the majority of it off, you're going to take a wire brush and clean all the extra stuff off with a big thistle brush, a nice big, you know, something heavy duty that's going to pull off the rest of it off. All right, so guys, as you can see, I have completely cleaned this up the best I could with a razor, but I don't want to keep digging at it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just hit it with this wire brush here. And we're going to get, uh, we're just basically doing this. We're going to go back and forth until we get the majority of the white stuff off. Even if you scratch up the board a little bit, it's fine. Just take it gentle. Don't like beat the living daylights out of it with the brush. But uh, yeah, just get the majority of the white stuff off. It doesn't take too long. So this is the process. If you have a better brush than me, congratulations. Mine came in the kit and uh, it's a little mangled, but it does the job. 
I'm actually going to switch over to the other side here. But, uh, yeah, so this is it, man. Just clean up the best you can. And as you can see, stuff is popping off of there, and the joints are getting nice and clean quickly. So that's uh, pretty much the process. How we looking there, B? Good. Almost, uh, almost clean. I would say it's satisfactory. Yeah, already. I think that's. Uh, I think that's pretty good, man. So that's uh, ready to be soldered now. All right. This is uh, the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the solder joints here. We're also gonna grab the tweezers because it is a necessity. We're gonna grab the angle tweezers here. Like I said, having a nice solder kit really helps. <laughs> so uh, the tweezers I'm using have a bent head. Um, it makes it a little easier to get in there when you have the hot, hot solder gun going. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get ready and uh, we're going to heat up the solder gun there and we will see you guys in a sec, man. Next step. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I got the wide joint. We got all this set up here. We're doing the left side first then the right side. It's the exact same antenna set up on here. There's no difference. You can see the plastic from this piece on there. You can see exactly how they did this right there. It's just a very close solder point. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use uh, liquid uh, solder flux, which makes uh, the, basically the solder bond almost instantly. So you don't have to worry about it uh, fumbling with it and trying to add more solder to it. As soon as it makes contact, it's going to start the bonding procedure. So I'm just going to put a dab of it on there, and then I'm going to blow it off. If I put too much, we'll go from there. So you can see I put a dab, I'm going to go blow the majority of it off. My uh, solder gun over here already has a bubble on it of solder on the tip. I think you're standing on the wire. Yes, there, I right? am. No, I'm <laughs> real close to it. So you got it? All right. So as you can see, I have a bead of solder already sitting on the end of this. I'm just going to go ahead and touch it right on there like so. And I'm going to roll it around real quick and tap it. Boom. Done. <laughs> Instantly bonds yeah, to it. It's incredible stuff. So it makes for a nice solder job. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. I'll see you guys in a sec. Guys, if, you're, if your solder gun is set correctly, you can just tap it. Get a bead of it going right there, and it'll just stay right on the tip. That's it. That's set at 250 degrees. So it's uh, it's actually... Just about enough. We're going to put a little more on there. There we go. That's a nice little blob. That's all you need. If you're, Like I said, if your solder gun is set correctly, it will not drip and bead. That's all you need now. So all we're going to do is liquid flux this joint here. I'm going to take these tweezers, and we're going to go for it. You ready, B? Yeah. All right. Let me get this positioned a little bit more over. Excellent. I'm going to put a bit of flux on there. We're gonna grab the solder gun. Make sure you're not standing on it. Are you good? Yeah. All right, let me get it up and over. That's all the room I got, huh? All right, I'm gonna grab it with the tweezers here. We're gonna get this in position. Let me bend this down a little bit more. All right, we're gonna drop it right on top here like so, and I'm just going to tap it, alright guys, we had to put a little more uh, solder on there, we're just going to give it a tap, there it is, done, so there you go guys, not the cleanest solder job in the world, but uh, it'll definitely do the work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the solder gun, and uh, we're going to go ahead and heat up the hot glue gun, and we're going to cover this with hot glue so that these wires can't move too much. So we'll, uh, we'll lay it sideways like that. We'll get a good glump on there, and uh, we'll let her harden up, and sh shouldn't have any wires coming off. All right, guys, got the uh, handy-dandy Stanley micro glue gun here for easy <laughs> modifying jobs. All we're going to do is cover this real good with glue so that these wires can't move at all. We don't want anything touching, so I put a nice uh, nice layer of it on there, then we let it heat up and I pull it up a little bit. Don't you hear that flux sizzle? Yeah, from the heat. Yeah, a little extra flux sizzle. That way you can play with the wires when you're done. So we're going to let that cool off and then I'm going to put a little on the bottom too. Let's make sure it can't move. Pretty easy. 
All right, guys, so the next step here, we've put that aside. We're going to have to drill a hole so that we can put the SMA jack through the bird, which is this piece here, so that you can screw an antenna to it. Um, but we're going to be uh, basically melting a hole through the top of here so we can stick an SMA jack through here. Um, and that's what we're going to be soldering next. As you guys can see, I have prepared the second one. It's all ready to go here. So Nice. All right, we got that one ready to go, but we still got to clean off that silicone on this. This is almost identical uh, to the other one. It's done exactly the same way, but you got to take out all these screws. I'm a handy dandy hobbyist, so I have all the little fun toys for doing that. So we're going to take out all these screws and we'll see you guys in a sec. <laughs> guys, we got all the screws out, backs off. Just be careful pulling this apart because all of these tabs are going to fall out. And it's okay, they're really easy to put back in. There's also a wire attached to the back of the tray, which you don't need to actually remove the entire tray. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This just pops apart real nicely. And you can just lay it down like that if you want to and do your job. But I find it's easier to take it and flip it upright. It gives you a little bit more room. And if you can keep the tabs in like we managed this time, it's good. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to be leaning the transmitter back. So they're going to fall out anyway. So we're going to go ahead and just pull them out. They're really easy to go back in. Just remember where your red one is. It's pretty simple because there's red there. And if there's not, just make a little mark for yourself to remind you where the red one goes. So we're going to go ahead and put those aside. As you can see, there's more silicone here. Once again, the exact same job as on the bugs. you got to take your razor blade, start cutting away, get it as clean as possible, take your wire brush, same steps, exactly the same steps. It's just you're doing it on the transmitter now. So we're going to get this cleaned up. We'll see you guys in a second. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This solder job they did on here is goofball as all get up. They really did some crazy stuff going on here. So we're going to try to not mess this up and make this as smooth as possible. But there's no guarantees. So liquid flux going on first. Let's push them luck. Little tap. Blow it off. I've already got my bead going on here. We're going to pull this out carefully. Get a good hold on the solder gun. Get my hand up there. We're going to do the braided wire first on the left and then the uh, actual uh, plastic covered wire on the right next. So let me get this on there real good. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. You guys were fluxed up. I've already got it pushed against there. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly give her a tap. Until she molds. I'll clean that off there. Should be good to go, B. Bam. Right, guys, so I went ahead and took my solder gun and made a nice hole for the SMA jack to go through right there, if you guys can see that. We are heating up the hot glue gun now that we've finished the solder job up on top here, and I'm just going to go ahead and cover all this in uh, hot glue, and then we can start messing with this headpiece. It's going to be interesting. I'll show you guys how all this works, and uh, then we'll put that back in there, and we'll start putting the uh, transmitter back together. I think we'll be uh, good to go. Yeah, that'd be very nice. All right, and then we can start screwing antennas on and seeing what happens. I'll see you guys in a minute. We go. We went ahead and uh, mounted the SMA jack through the top. We're going to go ahead and put the transmitter back together. We just glued everything. So we're going to lay this back and then we're going to screw on the antenna and show you guys what this looks like. And then we're going to finish modifying the Bugs 3 with a hole so we can stick the SMA jack in there and show you what that looks like. We'll see you guys in a minute. Guys, buttons are back in there. We are ready to screw the back on. You can see I just laid the wire down like this and we're just going to go ahead and close it up. Antenna SMA's on there, good. Looks like a good job, man. So let's put her back together. So we put it back together. You can see the size of that big, big antenna. <laughs> that thing's pretty serious. And uh, we're going to make sure we got a green light. If we green light, we're good to go. Battery's back in, and we're going to flip the switch here. And... Green light, good to go. Green is good. Yep. Green is good. No cross polarization. We are good to go. That's what it looks like completed there. We ran that all the way to the back here. If you can see it underneath there. Right there. Cut a hole through. Brian, you want to flip it over? Yeah. Show them what the bottom looks like. There you go. Right out the back. Boom. And that's the uh, Bugs 3 finished mod.
and the original antenna. Yep, we left the original antenna on there. Yeah, so. Antenna. Beautiful. Yeah, don't uh, guys, don't remove these. They say not to, otherwise it'll start to not work. It'll start going beep 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 beep. So there you go, there completed. You that's it. Now we got two two bug threes, and uh, both of them have the long range mods done to them. So this thing looks pretty serious with that black lid. I really like that, man. That looks angry like that. It has no odds. There you go, man. That's a serious modified bug three there. Mine doesn't even look that modified, man. Hand me mine. We're gonna run a comparison here. Yeah, but I am gonna show him what I did to the bottom of this. So. That's our differences here. He's got a, a almost a run cam on the front, and I've got just a three in one uh, uh, FPV FJ3 camera. Yeah, FJ three, and then for the running the higher milliwatts, I went ahead and just put uh, Velcro back there with a three point seven, so I can plug in to run a hundred or two hundred milliwatt instead of running it off the LED port. And then on the back, I haven't put my antenna, but as you can see, I did the same exact. Uh, SMA connection on there so and then look at that that is an actual GoPro mount people <laughs> that is the only way to do it and not get jello that's exactly what I did I need to paint it black now but the super glue uh, obviously <laughs> turned white here but there you go that's a GoPro mount right to the bottom of the battery case so both of these now have the long range mod and we're gonna have some fun and test them and then at some point we're going to race them. And, and drone worship is going down. And down. I'm going down, yeah. man. I'm yeah. going to lose. Just understand the force of power from the drone on. <laughs> there you go, man. Drone on. You're going to have to go to his channel here pretty soon. I don't know when he's going to get the video out. It may be a little while, but uh, we're both pretty busy right now. But yeah, When I get a chance to fly it, I'm going to put a video up. Yep. I have other videos on my channel, too. Aerial photography, uh, FPV videos. Check it out. Yeah, and he also does a lot of tiny whoops tiny here, whoops man. Tiny whoops stuff, yeah. FPV, He's doing a lot of whoops. FPV tiny whoops, so. Yeah, man, we're good to go. Catch you guys on the flip. To the real.